Hello Year 5 and welcome to your third tutorial for week 6 on Wednesday the 9th of February, Can I Plan My Own Poem? So yesterday you would have sent your teachers your apprentice rights and today you are going to look at and do your research for the animal that you would like to do your final piece of writing for. So yesterday I showed you my mood board for a fox and this is what you are going to be producing today for the animal of your choice now the biggest piece of advice i could give you is to pick an animal that you are going to be interested in but equally i would like you to push yourself i don't want there to be lots of cats and dogs just so you get away with doing a three-letter word if you are doing a three letter word, I would expect really quite lengthy stanzas for your poem. So think, what animal, and quite a lot of these animals have been native to Britain, so that means they're British animals. Or you might want to go further afield and pick a, an African safari animal that interests you. We are leaving the choice of animal up to you but make sure that it is one you're interested in, so you can write well about it, and one that you are not just trying to cut corners and pick because it has a short name. We did the short name ones yesterday to give you a warm up. So how did I go about doing this? Well, what can we see? I can see pictures and I can see words and I can see colors. So what do I actually want on my mood board? What things are going to help me? So normally we'd have sort of this discussion in class, but I'm going to discuss it with myself. So I want pictures. I want pictures of the animal. I want pictures of, I want sort of close-ups. So for the fox, I had close-ups of its teeth, its tail. I also want pictures of it moving because how it moves is a really good way to describe the creature. And if you sort of see a picture of that or even better, get on YouTube and search a video for it, you can see how it moves and you can use those wonderful adjectives that we have worked on all year. So I want pictures of the animal, close-ups and moving. I want some colours. Of the creature. I want some colours of its environment. The things around it. And I want some synonyms for those colours, some shades. It would be much better if I described, for example, something as its ruby coat rather than saying its red coat or its scarlet fur rather than its red fur. So make sure that you have some ideas for that as well. And the last thing I need is information. You can use facts about this creature, this animal you're doing, to form the parts of the poem. You might want the names of things. So if you think about B, the B that Yellow Group looked at last week, you might want honeycomb, honey, hive. Okay, so those are the sorts of things that we are looking for on our mood boards. And where can we get them? Well, first of all, pictures. Here's on the left some pictures. Where am I going to get pictures from? Our good friend, Google image search. I literally just search badger and look at all these options. And I want to be picking the best ones the ones that I think will help me. So this one I really like, 
because it was like I was talking about the badger running, how it's sort of quite low to the ground. It really stretches out. This one really helps me see its face. So I might put that on there. This one shows its sort of curiosity, almost like a meerkat. So pick the photos you use really carefully. And that is just Google Images. Always remembering our safe searching. This section here, what's going to help me as well? YouTube. Now, I'm not suggesting you watch 400 clips about your animal, but you could certainly watch one or two. This one's quite good. Anything from sort of the BBC, that's going to be really good. And look, it's only four minutes long, so you could watch that while you're sort of searching for other things. And all you need to do, when the fact comes out, you just need to note it down. So it might say, badgers have, or badgers are nocturnal. And you can just write very quickly, nocturnal. Badgers live in holes. There you go. And then you could use that within your mood board as well. So we've got Google Images. We've got YouTube. What else could we use to help us? This is still Google Images, but here you can see I have searched for badger face close up. Here I have searched for badger claws. And here, just for a little bit of difference, but still helpful, I've searched for badger cartoon. And again, it's about picking the things that are going to be helpful. This one, the badger's in the middle of the page, so that's quite helpful to me. This is just the picture of the face, so that's super helpful. Here, the claws. And I've got to be careful because this one says American badger, this one says honey badger, and this one says badger. Again, they're quite similar. So I might, I'm now thinking that they're quite long, spiny. So I'm already starting to think of some words that I might write. What other sources have we got? Ah, actual information. Badger facts for kids. Badgers are nocturnal, like I did on that first slide. Just bullet points. I don't want whole paragraphs of writing. I just want the odd word that really stands out that's going to help me with my poem. Because I might write nocturnal in there. I might write strong limbs in my poem. I might write sharp claws. I might write the verb burrow. So just pick things out of here, set, burrows, night and sleep. So the Somerset Wildlife Trust has said that they make a separate bathroom chamber, but we don't really need to know that. So it's about picking sort of what's useful for us, which is this section here. And eventually, you can put all of those things together to get your mood board. So here, I've got pictures. This one shows a slightly cheekier, more playful side of the badger. I've got a picture of its set. I've used scavenge, claws, nocturnal, hunt, omnivore, dig. I've got a cartoon. I've got a close-up of its skull. I've got black, white, and grey, the colours. I'm sort of looking at. So that is your task today, to pick your creature, your animal, and to create a comprehensive mood board for it. It's not just two pictures, it's not just one word. 
Select the pictures that are going to help you. Select the research that's going to help you. And I know that I and your other teachers are really excited, especially after the C task the other week in reading, to see what you guys produce. So good luck, enjoy it, and I will see you on tomorrow's tutorial.